One of the best things about studying the LSE is the amazing procession of public speakers I get to see. Presidents, prime ministers, international business leaders, policy makers, movers and shakers from all over the world choose to speak at the LSE whenever they're in London. The LSE events program is diverse and comprehensive and it takes a whole bunch of people to make that happen. The school's motto is to know the causes of things and to know the causes of things then they have to be explained, debated, discussed. And so the public events program is putting LSE, if you like, at the heart of the global debate. We organise the events programme, the highest profile public lectures, um, prime ministers, presidents, foreign ministers, finance ministers. And I've been here now at LSE for I think uh, I'll be 10 years next year. Um, when I started here then, you would maybe have 10 or 15 public lectures a term. Now we're up to something in the region of uh, probably towards 80 or 90. People are passing through London every day of the week. Um, when the G20 met in London, the President of Indonesia dropped by and gave a speech at the LSE because he was here in London. So the advantage of the LSE's position in one of the world's major capitals um, and major centres for business and finance is enormous. LSE has a great reputation internationally, so we get some great speakers from across the world. The same week as the President of Indonesia, we had the President of Russia, so big names. George Soros, um, who's an LSE alumnus, and then spoke on his views on what the G20 should be doing. That hopefully demonstrates the relevance of the debates at LSE to the real world. The LSE is in some ways better than any place um, in the world because in New York, although there are some great universities there, they're not the greatest universities. If you give a speech at Oxford or Cambridge, or for that matter, Princeton, uh, you're not in the middle of things. Here, you're right at the core of, of a lot of activity overlapping policy, business, academics. Major events involve the entire LSE community, from students to security. Each event brings its own challenges, and one of the things that you can say about the LSE, not just from the point of view of events, but from the point of view of just normal day-to-day -day activity, is um, there is no such thing as an ordinary day. I grew up in the Eastern Cape, Nelson Mandela was amazing. It was a privilege to be involved in his safety here at the LSE. Clean water was simple not available. Just to be Clean near him, water. you get that feeling that he's just someone supreme. Life was brutish and short. We had um, a green span. There was nearly a thousand people in the Peacock Theatre. And even when he came out, it was like a, a pop star emerging from the uh, stage door. We're walking down the, uh, the Kingsway, chain, you know, chain links with all the guards, protecting him as he walked along the wall, you know, and all these people behind him trying to get hold of him or get in to sign their book. Students, staff, members of the public can come along and put their questions, critical sometimes, challenging, um, to, you know, prime ministers, to presidents, to Nobel Prize winners, to our own academics. So that debate and discourse and sort of views flying left, right and centre is really exciting. Just getting the tickets out is a major operation. At 10am on ticket release days, we, we open up the ticket lines both at the Student Union, online and on the phone lines. This morning we're getting so many requests. Um, We've had about, we've had over a thousand in, in half an hour this morning. For the most famous speakers, students are prepared to queue around the block. I'm waiting for tickets to Paul Krugman. I've been to so many talks this year with Soros and a lot of really high profile people and it's amazing to have access to ask them questions. So what we're doing is just checking everyone's LSE IDs to make sure that they are students or staff. Then we're allocating them tickets for all three days of the program lecture. And I'll say I only want them for certain days. There we go. Hi. I think what I love the most about the LSE is that it's always been a place where people of all races, colours, political persuasions are free to speak their minds. LSE events are designed to stimulate open, genuine debate, and freedom of speech within the law is always top of the agenda. And of course, this sometimes means that the audience can be a little too outspoken. Thanks to all for coming. Thanks.
Part of the attraction here is you, you never know who's in the audience. I can remember on one occasion, for example, when Mr. Jinjic, then the Prime Minister of Serbia, who was indeed killed a few months later, came to give a lecture to a very crowded audience. A number of Serbs based in London uh, were here and asked some very hostile questions. So it was a, a really tense atmosphere. Uh, to what extent do you think that the solution... To the task of protecting freedom of speech and the right of everyone to say what's on their mind is a delicate balance that LSE security face every day. We are very much on the front line of, uh, of freedom of speech. We will take extra risks as a department to ensure that contentious subjects can be discussed while at the same time being responsible and trying to create an atmosphere where the argument can be, can be had freely. LSE events are free and open to the public. For those that can't attend, podcasts are available afterwards and the most important are webcasts live. They continue the long tradition of learning, debate and relevance to the real world. It's not just discussing theory and, you know, economic theories and that sort of stuff. It's actually real political discussion and debate. What's going on in the real world is, is reflected in the debate and discussion we have here at LSE.